Hi, uh, I'm Lars Bello. I just want to show you a few tips and tricks on how to use Microsoft Teams Live Event together with OBS. So I brought my Surface Hub here today, still back in my living room. Uh, and I want to give you a few tips and tricks on how I use uh, Microsoft Teams Live Event. I use it a lot just as Teams Live Event, but I'm also using uh, sometimes with OBS, de depending on how um, actually uh, what I'm supposed to be streaming. So there is pros and cons depending on which uh, feature that you're using, but um, I just want to give you a short introduction to some of the things that I'm using. <clears throat> so right now I have a Surface Pro running the OBS software. Uh, on top of that, I have a, a Rally, Logitech Rally camera. And also for the audio, I have a Rode a Wireless Go with an external level mark. So uh, just a few of the hardware. And um, I'm also gonna show you uh, some other hardware that I have in here. So first of all, the live events in could be made directly into uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, and that will give you uh, really great features for uh, using um, the ability to have a Teams meeting, but you would be able to record it and stream it, and it's very simple for everybody, and especially if you're on several locations, it's the perfect tool to do that. Uh, what I'm using right now is on top of uh, Teams Live events, I'm also using uh, the OBS, so the uh, free software uh, for streaming, open broadcast software, which I'm really happy uh, to use. And one of the features that I really like about uh, this setup with the OBS, if I'm streaming from one location, doing, for instance, a town hall meeting, this would be my preferred way of doing it, since that I could connect um, a small stream deck uh, to my uh, PC running the OBS software, and then I actually would be able to switch a camera with a single uh, tap of a button, so now it's switched over to this camera, which is a Logitech Brewery, Brio, uh, and I'm also able to do a zoomed in version. It's still the same camera, but it's with two uh, different presets. And also I have a bit of a lightning just to uh, give a little bit of light from this side when I have all of my windows at this side. So this, a uh, small USB device is uh, connected. Uh, so let's see, in the OBS, I have my uh, Surface Pro running the OBS software. And I have connected a Rally camera on top. Uh, uh, uh. And then I'm using the Rode Wireless Go. Wire. Let's go and then a uh, level yeah microphone as well. And then also uh, connected to the OBS PC, I have my Brio cam, which is this one that we're using right now. Uh, I'm going back here. And then I also have my um, Stream Deck, which is actually just uh, there is different sizes. I'm having a 15 uh, button panel, which is the Stream Deck. There's also a Stream Deck small or Stream Deck large. Uh, what it actually means that is that you will have uh, uh, buttons that you will be able to do uh, programming on, and you could have them do uh, different kind of things. Um, but this one is also connected uh, to the OBS PC. So in total, one, two, three, four devices via USB. My Rode Wireless Go is connected uh, via mini jack. Um, that's uh, uh, audio out from, um, from the uh, transmitter and the receiver to this Stream Deck. So this was just a short introduction on how I'm using it. One of the things that I really like is that I'm able to switch between the different cameras uh, this time, but I'm also able to, for instance, take uh, the content feed from the Surface Hub, which is a uh, extra box that I have connected. So this is, a, what's it called, a HDMI recorder, or HDMI capture card. The one I'm using is HD60, 
S plus, which would uh, take uh, my surface hub signal. There you go with the surface hub, like this. I'm taking the uh, let's say the mini display port out, connecting or converting it to HDMI into um, the HDMI recorder or the HDMI capture card, and then from there I have a USB to my OBS PC. And then normally what I'm doing is that I'm gonna use a, a separate PC again using uh, or actually doing the uh, Teams live event streaming. So I'm not streaming from this PC or I actually am, I'm using the OBS as the encoder, uh, taking the streaming key here from Microsoft Teams, put it into my OBS software and push the, I have also a, a stream button on my stream deck and then when I hit um, uh, the, the, how do you say the Teams live event? I would be able to uh, to put that uh, into the Teams live event, and then you would be able to uh, stream it from there. Uh, so that meaning that it would be able to to send out to specific um, groups, channels, whatever you would like to do. One of the cons in this concept is that you're not able to use the OBS with a public uh, live events. So that's a bit of a con, but uh, still, it is a great tool. One of the things I also have heard a lot uh, in these days is that we would like to add several camera into Teams. And since Teams Live Event is not able uh, to have uh, several cameras into the feed right now from the same PC at least, you could set up a two system and, and do it that way. But uh, at least um, it's, it's not possible by default. But I have actually uh, added two cameras, and since I'm using the OBS software, I would be able to connect my second camera, making a specific um, a scene in OBS, which will either uh, turn on or off my uh, camera, and then it would be able to have two camera feeds into to the recording. And for instance, a lot of people is using this. I'm at home alone, but... Um, one of the things that I've heard is that they would like to have a one camera feed on the presenter and then a second camera feed on um, the audience. So that would be possible to do that through OBS software. So going back to Morality Camera, this was uh, just a short introduction of uh, Microsoft Teams uh, together with OBS. There's a lot of um, good documentation both from Microsoft on how to use OBS with like, uh, Microsoft Teams live events, but also, uh, of course, it needs uh, a bit of time to understand and work out how the OBS software is actually working. Uh, but it is a great tool and it's perfect for using uh, when you are doing a town hall meeting where everybody uh, that needs to be live is on the same uh, location. So it is possible uh, since the OBS software is just grabbing everything I'm putting into it but we're not using uh, Microsoft Teams or Microsoft Teams live events to do the encoding that is OBS so this is the PC so for instance if I want to add a second participant from another conference it would be possible it not, it's not uh, that simple but then I would connect a third PC running uh, the Teams program that I would like to have and then using a, a second HDMI capture card and then putting that into that feed and then grab uh, the scene that you would like to have. So instead of content, I could grab uh, the second person from another Teams um, call. So, so that would be possible, uh, but it's, it's not that simple to do just out of the box. But a uh, short introduction to Microsoft Teams live event together with uh, OBS software, a uh, different kind of camera, a little bit of hardware. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.